In this video, we're going to learn how to build a child theme manually without a plugin and for free. Hi, I'm Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Now let's get started. All the code you need is on this page. This is going to be a manual child theme for a classic style theme, not a block style theme. I have another tutorial and a bunch of others actually for block style child themes and how to do those properly. And even doing this for a classic one with a plugin as well, if you'd rather do that instead of using code. But the code is pretty easy, which you're gonna see in this video. So currently, the website we're gonna work on is running the Astra theme. So we're gonna make a child theme for Astra. And the code on this page is for the 2024 theme. So if you're using the 2024 theme, you can just copy and paste this code directly as is. In this video, we'll do a couple edits to make this fit with the Astra theme and for any other theme you'd want. So let's get started by logging into the file manager for our website. You can also do this via FTP if you want. Let's go to file manager. This is SiteGround, as you can tell. And this takes us, in this case, right to the themes file, but you'll probably start somewhere around here. You might have to go to public HTML and then WP content and then themes. We have our two theme folders here. We're gonna create a new folder. We're gonna call it astra-child. I'm gonna double click to enter that folder. I'm gonna make a new file called style.css. Then I'm gonna open style.css by double clicking. I'm gonna go back to the blog post. This blog post is linked to in the description down below. I'm gonna copy this first piece of code and paste it right here into the theme file. I'm gonna change a few things here with, for the first line with the theme name. This is the name of our theme. I'm gonna call it Astra Child. The theme URI or URL, this is just fake, but you could have a URL for your theme if you wanted. If, you, if you're making themes to sell, this would be something you definitely want to have be real URLs. Descriptions, Astra Child theme, all this is really just informational. The most important one is this one right here. And the second most important is this, and this is also stuff you have to have. Although this last one's pretty important if you wanna get into the WordPress repository and have your themes be searchable and found, these are some of the features your theme has that would fit with the, um, the filters when you choose a theme inside the adding new theme in WordPress. So the most important one, the template. We want to have this name here match the folder of the parent theme exactly. So if we go, let's save this, and we go back to themes, this is the folder we wanna match exactly. So we're gonna have Astra exactly, if it was 2024 theme, use 2024 exactly as it's shown there. So let's open our style sheet again and change this to Astra, all lowercase, and then save. And now if we go into here and refresh, we've got our child theme right there and we can activate it, but it's not gonna be exactly what we want yet because it's not gonna be pulling in the style sheet of the original theme. To pull in the style sheet of the original theme, go back to the blog post, copy this next bit here, copy, close the CSS file, add a new file called functions.php, double click it to open it, and then paste in what we got from that field. Make sure there's only one PHP opening tag here. If you have two, it's gonna break your site. So make sure it's just one in the entire file. Click on save, come back here, refresh. Not much is gonna change, but now when we activate this theme and then go back out to our site and refresh, it's gonna be pretty much exactly what it is here because the child theme is now pulling in the CSS file from the parent theme. The CSS file contains all the styles that define how the site looks. And that's basically a child theme done for you. I've also created a thumbnail inside of Canva. You wanna save this thumbnail as screenshot.png or screenshot.jpg, all lowercase. And then we just upload that into our themes folder here. Let's upload it from my download, which I downloaded from Canva. And now if I come back into here, and refresh, we now have a fancy thumbnail for our theme, for our child theme, I should say. And this is not visible on the front end of your website, it's just in the back end in the editor here. So we have our child theme rocking and rolling, ready to go. And the big benefits of child themes are that you can now go into the functions file, the style file, and add your own custom PHP, 
own your own custom CSS, your own custom scripts that are going to be loaded before your main website functions file is loaded. So this functions file will be loaded in addition to your main site functions file. That functions file defines basically your website's behavior. So if you have um, functions you want to alter the behavior of on the main site, you can do that in the child theme. If you want to add new functions, you can do that in the child theme. And then when updates are available for the parent theme, your changes won't be overwritten. Whereas we could also just make all these changes directly in the Astra functions file. If I go to themes, Astra, find the functions file, we could make edits directly in here and add code and do what have you. But there's a chance when the theme is updated, if the functions file is updated in that theme update, your changes could be overwritten which you don't want. So that's the big benefit of having child themes. You can also do more complex stuff. Like for example, you go to the Astra theme. We have a header file that defines the header of Astra. We can make a copy of this. Where'd the copy go? In my clipboard? Let's try it. Go to our child theme and paste. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so now we have the header file. That's the original header file from Astra, but now it's in our child theme. You can edit it to your heart's content to make the header file exactly how you need it, and it's not gonna be overwritten when the main theme is updated. The only drawback is that maybe some of these functions that you see here might be changed in various Astra updates. So you have to be paying attention to that. If something breaks, it could be because you're referencing old functions that the new versions of Astra have deprecated. So that's something to watch out for. But in most cases, having a child theme protects your changes and makes it safer for you to add custom code and CSS to your websites. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And up here is the video on how to create a child theme using a plugin. And down here is the one on how to create a child theme for a block theme. So check out those two videos, whichever one applies to you. And I'll see you there.